1638, Galileo Galilei provided a detailed account of his experiment to confirm the uniform acceleration of a falling object in discourses on two new sciences. Known as Galileo's inclined plane experiment, Galileo rolled a hard, smooth, and very round ball down a straight, smooth, and polished groove cut into an inclined wooden plane. Starting at varying distances along the plane, Galileo repeatedly measured the relationship between time and distance traveled by the ball. Time was measured by use of a large vessel of water, where water was collected during the time of descent, and the differences in ratios of these weights gave the differences in ratios of the times. Galileo found that all inclined angles, the spaces traversed, were to each other as the square of the times. Galileo had collected sufficient evidence to confirm the uniform acceleration, or gravity as it is known today, of a falling object. Previous experiments failed to account for the acceleration of gravity because it was impossible to tell how fast an object fell from a given height. However, Galileo was able to find the acceleration of gravity by slowing the fall of an object using an inclined plane. As Galileo did not have a time measuring device, he used the amount of water gathered from the start to finish of a rolling ball from a continuously dripping source. By comparing the volumes for each trial, he was able to determine the differences in time. Three. Right at five. So after we put data into an Excel file, we graphed it as a power function with y as distance and x as volume, which represents time in this case. Although we were expecting to see a relationship as y equals x squared, as it represents d is proportional to t squared, we actually got a value of y equals x to 1.5. Although our experiment was nearly flawless, we did find a few errors. Um, our first error would be that our inclined plane had more friction than we imagined Galileo's did. It was not smooth. Um, there was some human error also in releasing the ball and starting and stopping the water flow. Um, the timing cannot always be perfect. The differences between uh, our experiment and Galileo's is Galileo used a uh, groove cut inside of a board and here we used a V-shaped uh, with two boards. Um, also we used a 10 degree slope instead of a 5 degree slope which Galileo used. Uh, we used a pipette uh, for the dripping water instead of him actually just using dripping water from some source. 
And also our incline plane is shorter, only being 80 inches. And uh, he used one that was um, uh, much longer. Our experiment was nearly flawless.